here we can see the long section that we've already plotted. I'm just going to zoom out slightly, leave room for the cross sections. If I go up to tools, come down to sections plot multi. So we've only got one uh, cross section database in at the moment, so I'll just press OK. And we want to plot all of them, so I press OK again once, once we've pressed all. OK, just as before with the ordinary long section, we have options for horizontal and vertical scale. So I'll set them both to 500. On the defaults tab, everything should be as we left it. So I'll just OK that. And the profiles, again, as we left it. One option that we have here that we didn't have on the long section, but on tick height base temporarily, is the option to actually change the um, the maximum and minimum levels that each section is plotted between. Because we're doing a series of cross sections, if they started at a, a relatively low level and finished at a high level, we could end up with a lot of wasted space on each of those sections. So if we say height base instead, we can actually allow for a, a fixed um, buffer zone around each section so that it will be plotted nice and neatly each time. No wasted space in other words. So I'll press OK. And I'll just draw a box to fit them in. I'll try and get them plotted in uh, two rows can do. So if I say horizontal spacing of say 30 and the vertical of say 10, that fits quite nicely. Press OK and there they go. And if I zoom in, yep, that's all fine. As you can see, still got the code plotted and we're still flipping and clashing the text. If I close that down, I now to create a, a second drawing to fit them on. So drawings, new, I use the same template as before this one layout too and press OK go to the camera ok so the first thing then is to put our survey on and, and, and zoom into the area which we're going to plot our sections about so right click because we've already got a viewport remember choose settings get a DTM and move our survey over sighting auto to so make it look in the right well roughly in the centre and press OK there we can see our sections. So I'm going to drag the corners of the viewport in. Like so. And then move that over. So that will hopefully leave us with some room here for our cross sections. So again, I'm going to have to create another viewport. Create view. Yes, I do want to create another viewport. This time I go to the CAD tab. Move that over. Go to the sighting tab and press auto. Press OK again. And now we can see all our sections. Obviously, we don't want the long section in there again. So I'll just trim the viewport to suit. There we go. We have our survey and our cross sections. I'll just put the grid on there as well. Grid lines plot. Don't want that. Solid. Every hundred meters, it's the same as the other drawing. In dark grey. Okay, so that concludes our little demonstration of how to combine total station and GPS data, model the data, plot the contours, and take some sections.